Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the game. We're heading into turn six. What could possibly be the last turn of this first adventure in Descent 2nd Edition. The quest called First Blood. Mauler, with 16 health, has suffered 15 damage and is down to his last health point. Let's see what happens. Tomble, played by Robert, is going to try to get Jason's character, Grisbin the Thirsty, back on his feet. Here is Tomble's figure, right here. He's going to try to get back to this token, the hero token there, which is Grisbin, so that he can do a revive action. Revive a hero. There it is. Tumble takes his first step with his four movement and the overlord, the big jerk that he is, decides to play tripwire. This is a basic card. It is a trap and it says play this card when a hero enters an empty space. Empty space. During his move uh, during a move action. He tests awareness and if he fails he must end his move action. He can still suffer fatigue to move further or perform a second move action if this was his first action. Now Tumble's awareness is actually pretty good. Let's zoom in there and we see that uh, whoa 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 we see that it's actually uh, five. So Tumble with his awareness of five has a pretty good chance of uh, spotting this tripwire and simply stepping over it. Let's see what happens. For an attribute test we use a gray and a black die together. We're gonna roll those dice and we've got to get equal to or less than the hero's attribute and that is five. All right, Tumble. The Overlord is desperate and hoping to trip you up here. We have our gray and our black die. Let's give them a roll. <laughs> well, Tumble, you absolutely aced the hell out of that. So, <laughs> uh, the tripwire did not work. Tumble continues on his path to try to get to Grisbane. He moves diagonally to this square here. The Overlord plays Pit Trap. It is a trap, a basic card, and it says play this card when a hero enters an empty space. He tests awareness. If he fails, he suffers one damage and loses one movement point. If he has no movement points to lose, such as if he suffered fatigue to move, he is stunned. All right. Well, let's let's see how Tumble does this time. Okay, same deal. We're testing awareness again. The gray and the black. We need a five, a five or less. And he passed with a three. Tumble continues muttering to himself I swore that wasn't there a minute ago <laughs> and deftly avoids the pit moves one more space adjacent to Grisbin's hero token. He then attempts a revive action. For the revive action we use two red power dice Grisbin will heal an amount equal to the hearts rolled and will recover uh, stamina for any um, surges rolled. So two dice. Let's see what happens. Uh, actually a great roll. That's going to allow Grisbin to heal six points and recover one uh, fatigue. So thanks to Tumble 
we remove the hero token and Grisbin is back on his feet. It is at this point that uh, Robert says uh, his character has something to say. Tomble says, come on good old friend, grab your axe and get the job done. Robbing goblins of their treasures is tiring indeed. My granny will prepare a feast of kings, that's for sure. And there will be plenty more of brew to drink by the fireplace as well. Tumble pats Grisbin on the shoulder and helps him back to his feet. Tumble has a final action remaining. I would suggest that he take a step back just to make sure that he is out of range of Mahler's giant club in case things don't go well. Well that is six. Six damage that uh, Grisbin will or six health points he will recover and one fatigue. Well I'd like to go to Seth next. Seth is playing our healer and wants to use his heroic feat to help the party. The healer's heroic feat allows him uh, as he takes a uh, skill action here to roll two red power dice and each hero within three spaces which is basically the entire party will uh, heal hearts equal to the number of hearts rolled. Alright we're gonna take the two red power dice and put them in the cup. Let's see what our healer can do. Very nice. Look at that. Six health to everybody. Well, we'll start with uh, Grisbin. Taking six damage off of Grisbin, he is now only down to uh, two points of damage. So that's 12 health left for Grisbin. Well, this allows Tomble to go up to maximum health. He's fully healed. Seth's own character, uh, Averick here, will heal six, leaving him with only one point of damage on his character. And Leoric of the Book, Minnesota Jason, is now at full health. Well, what we need to do is turn over the healer's card since the feat is used. What does this text say? I pledge myself to those in need. I will be their shield, their light in the darkness. The party is pretty much back to full health. For his second action, uh, Seth wanted to leave the final blow to Mahler. Uh, go to Jason and Grisbin, so we're going to take a rest action for Seth as his second uh, action this turn. And now that it's the end of his turn, uh, Seth will recover all points of fatigue, and that's good, just in case things don't go well. Stone skin is available. And uh, Seth might be able to make use of that uh, if necessary. So all fatigue removed. 